Hi friends, welcome back and if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. If you enjoy first impressions videos, I hope that you will subscribe and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified of all my new uploads. I currently upload five days a week. Today, we are doing a 24 hour wear test. I'm kind of scared, I've never done this before, of the Becca Ultimate Coverage Cream Foundation. So this is supposed to not budge for 24 hours. It says ultimate coverage in a surprisingly weightless and breathable cream, a perfectly balanced distribution of pigment and water. So I have, it says one pump to perfection. Using one pump of foundation and your brush, um, or your preferred foundation brush, sweep horizontally across the forehead and then move to cheeks and chin. Finish by sweeping vertically down the nose. Wow, I've never had a foundation tell me how to apply it. That's pretty cool. So this is what it looks like. I have the shade Sienna, so let's just jump into it. I have, the only thing I have on my face right now is my Clarins sunscreen. I wear it every day with all my foundations, so that's just a step I could not skip. Um, I'll leave a link to it down below. I love it, it doesn't clog my pores or anything. First, I wanna do half of the face with primer and half without, so I'm gonna use the Guerlain Primer, this is the primer that has the gold flakes in it. This is actually my first time using it, so this will be interesting. But I only wanna use it on half of the face, so we'll see how it wears with half primer, half without. I've never even used this foundation before. So, 24 hours, I'm gonna to try to leave it on. Let's take a pump of this primer. This is supposed to be a really good primer for dry skin. I'm gonna put it on the right side of my face. So this side will be primer. Okay, uh, the sunscreen that I have on leaves a little bit of a white cast, but it soaks into the skin and it doesn't mess up makeup at all, so that's good. All right, primer's on. Let's take, oh, I have some more primer on my skin. Let's press it in, I mean on my hand. I wanna use all the primer I can get because this pricey item, I think this is 70 bucks. So we are gonna put it to the test because we're leaving it on for 24 hours. Next up, let's see, it says one pump of the foundation is supposed to be good. This is what the shade looks like. Hopefully that shade is good for me. I'm taking my Vasanti foundation brush that I got, I think in a BoxyCharm. So it says go, can I help you babe? My nope. boyfriend is standing over there watching me. It says go horizontally across the head, forehead and move down to the cheeks. This is very thick friends. This is a full coverage foundation. So we will put it to the test. That's thick, that's some good coverage. I love a good full coverage foundation. I don't know if one pump will be enough, but we'll see. We will see, let's get a little more. Okay, so one pump wasn't enough for me. I used a pump and a half. First impressions, full coverage. It doesn't feel as heavy as it looks. Like it covered everything. I don't need any concealer or anything. Covered everything. I definitely prefer the side with the primer because it's so thick. It uh, The primer really filled in my pores. I have large pores here and here. So I definitely already prefer the side with the primer. Everything just looks smoother and nicer. Um, it doesn't feel as thick as it looks. This stuff is thick. It's not as thick as like a Kat Von D locket, but it's pretty thick and it's full coverage. First impressions, I like it. So I'm gonna leave it on for 24 hours and I'll just check in with you guys throughout the day. I'm gonna try to leave it on for 24 hours. Let me pull up my clock. I should rephrase that. I will try to leave it on for 24 hours. Here's the thing. Does anybody else sleep on their face? Like I sleep on my stomach. So, I mean, this is just, even if it lasts, it's gonna come off on the pillow. So I'll try though. It's 1.04 p.m. I'll check in with you throughout the next 24 hours and we'll see how we're doing. I'll do some close-ups. I'll do all that. I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup. We're going to do some fun things today. So I'll take you along. Okay, hi friends. Uh, I think the time, we're at like four hours of wear time now. We're on a date. We're at the LA Auto Con show. Why are you moving? This is not like to show off the cars. This is to show off my makeup. So zoom in a little, not too much. So remember, zoom in. My boyfriend's being silly. So this is the side with the primer. Oh my God, babe, stop. This is the side with the primer. What are you doing? This is the side without. How does it look so far, babe? It's the same to me. Looks the same as when I first put it on? Yes. Okay, so. Um, I didn't neon think... lights are your biggest friend. Yeah, that's okay. I wanna show you guys in different lights. So this is neon light. The lighting sucks, but. 
so far so good. I don't feel weighed down. It feels comfortable. So, all right, I'll show you the side. Side with the primer. A very natural makeup today. Okay, back up a little. Thank you. All right, let's show them my outfit. Okay, so casual outfit for the car show. Shirt. Shirt is from Express. Skirt is one of my Marshalls trips. Shoes, Nordstrom. And I have on socks. My boyfriend is making fun of me. I put on the socks so that my I don't get bunions. Bag, I don't know. Nails, Walmart. Wig, Amazon. I'll check in with you in a couple hours. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you have anything to say? What, how does my makeup look? Natural. The neon light doesn't help it. How does it look so far? It looks natural. It looks smooth. Looks, it looks smooth? Even. Up close? Yeah, it looks even. Right. Okay, time check, friends. It is currently... Is that backwards? Hopefully it's not backwards for you, but it's 11, 10, 11.01 p.m. On the camera, for some reason, it looks backwards. Wig is off. I'm home. I'm tired. After the car show, we had brunch. Then we ran some errands. Wig is off. Makeup is still on. Um, it feels weird, like, getting ready to go to bed. By the way, I'm going to get you unclo uncomfortably close and personal. I can't talk, so I won't be here long because I'm tired. This is the side with no primer. As you can see, the pores... Um, will my camera focus this close? I don't know. Yeah, the pores are big. I'm starting to get oily. Well, I started to get oily hours ago. As you can see on this side, pores aren't as large. This is the side with the primer. We've got some major creasing with the concealer, though. Good Lord. Wow. It's kind of crazy looking at yourself in the camera this close. So... It's still on, friends. Um, I have not slept with makeup on in years because that used to be so bad for my skin. I'm hoping I don't break out from doing this, but it's 11.01. I'll probably go to bed by midnight. I have a traveling day for work tomorrow, so we'll see how this goes. I'm just going to leave it on. The thing is, when I sleep, I sleep on my stomach, and I tend to like slam my face into the pillow, which is really bad because it can cause premature wrinkles. But at the very minimum, I sleep on my side, so it's going to be hard to try to sleep on my back, but I've been trying to do that anyway, so I need to practice that. So we'll see how much I wake up with on. I feel like it will stay on, but it's just the way I sleep will be the problem. So what are we? I put this on at 1. We're at uh, 10 hours. It's still on. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. I'm starting to get shiny. Well, a couple hours ago, I started to get shiny in the T-zone area. Why is my camera not focusing? So, all right, friends, I'll see you in the morning. We'll see how this goes. It feels so weird to not wash my face right now. Good morning, time check. Uh-oh, there's my phone. I'm getting a text. 7.20 a.m. Okay, friends, I knew this would happen. I went to sleep. I tried not to sleep on my face. I did. I ended up sleeping like this, so I took off all the foundation from here down, basically, but it is still on my forehead and mostly on my nose, but from here down, because I sleep, I tried not to sleep like face down. I'm trying not to do that anyway. So I tried to sleep like this, like this, it's all gone, but there's still some coverage on my forehead. I am shiny AF, but there's still coverage there. So uh, we're at seven. What time did I put this on yesterday? 1 p.m. I could keep going, but I mean, it's basically gone from here down. I think I still even have concealer on. I'm sorry I'm not looking at you. I'm trying to see what you're seeing in the viewfinder. What concealer did I use yesterday? I think I used the LA Girl Pro Longwear Concealer. Now remember, it did start creasing, but that's because I didn't use any powder. I should have set it with powder. I should have baked because I knew I was going to have makeup on all day. But I just didn't want it to get too dry under here because I've been getting pretty dry. But where's the foundation? Where are you, Becca? Where are you? I have the box. Oh, here it is. This foundation ain't half bad, friends. If you're looking for a long wear, full coverage foundation, I mean, if I could learn to sleep on my back, I'm pretty sure I would have foundation still all over my face. Um, I definitely like the side with the primer. I really like this primer. My skin looked dewy without 
looking too oily. Well, I did look a little oily. I would recommend this for dry skin. It might be too dewy for me because I'm not completely dry. I'm more combo, but my skin just felt moisturized all day. That's what I really liked about it. And I feel like the side with the con with the primer looks better for the concealer and everything, but this foundation is impressive. I'm a big fan of Becca. I love their highlighters. I like their foundations. Um, I told you I did a full review video on Becca like two years ago. It's pretty old, but in that video, I do the same kind of thing like this. I leave the makeup on, I think for like 12 or 14 hours. Um, so if you want to see that, I'll try to find it and link it down below. So let's jump into some product reviews. I'm going to go put you guys down because I feel like I'm like, like this. I've got like shaky hands. Let me go put you on the tripod. All right, so we made it a total of 18 hours. It could have gone longer. I just, I can't sleep. I look so much better from further away. I had you very up, very uncomfortably close and personal, but that's how first impressions videos are. I could have, um, it would have lasted longer, but I just struggle with sleeping on my back. For all of you that sleep on your back, because I wanna be a back sleeper, so I'm not smashing my face, giving myself premature wrinkles, what kind of pillow do you use? Do you use a soft pillow or a firm pillow, medium support? I prefer soft, and I'm thinking maybe that's why I don't like sleeping on my back, but when I use firm pillows and I try to sleep on my back, my neck is literally in pain, so. Any of you that are back sleepers, please let me know what type of pillow, what brand of pillow you use. I don't care how expensive it is. I once paid like $150 for a pillow. I tried to use it to sleep on my back and my neck was like in so much pain. It was horrible. So anything that you can recommend, I'm all ears. I'm having my morning tea. Keep calm and carry on. Mm. All right. Have you noticed I've been doing better at getting shorter at my doing shorter videos? This video is not going to be short. First impressions are very rarely short, but I'm trying to get my videos to 10 minutes or less because a lot of people will literally watch the first half of my videos and then by the end of the video, because you can see all this in YouTube analytics, there's something like only 5% watching. So I want to stop doing like those 20 minute videos. Some of them will be like this one probably is vlogs will be longer, but like my beauty videos, you're going to notice they're getting smaller. It's easier for me to edit. It's easier for me to store. And from what I can tell from my analytics, more of you prefer shorter videos. So like 90% of my videos are gonna be shorter. It's all good. Let's jump into product reviews. I'm still loving this perfume. I featured it in my Sephora VIB haul. It's pricey, but I love it. This is the Flower Bomb from Victor and Rolf. There's a reason that everyone loves this. It literally smells like candy. It's a very, very sweet, oh my God. It smells like candy and baby powder. I love it. I'm not describing it well. Look it up online. It smells amazing. I love it. It's expensive, but it's long wearing. It's good. This primer, I told you guys, you saw me use it in the beginning of the video. This is the Guerlain Primer, um, L-O-R. I'm not even going to try to say it. The Pure Radiance Concentrate with Gold. I really like this. I need to be careful though, because I don't think I'm as dry as I thought I was. This is really good for dry skin. It was moist. It's like a moisturizer and a primer in one. It's expensive, but I love it. I'm going to keep using it and I will use it up and I will give you guys my final thoughts, but I really like it. I told you the foundation I really like. I'm going to wear these on full coverage, long wearing days. What's interesting is that it's full coverage, but it doesn't feel heavy. Like, like a lot of full coverage foundations you wear, the longer you wear them, the more heavy they feel on your face. It doesn't feel like that. Next up, this is an oldie but goodie. Clarence was actually nice enough to send this to me, but I've had this one. As you can tell, it's almost like you get the writings coming off. I use this every day. This is the Clarins UV Plus Anti-Pollution Sunscreen. It's a broad spectrum SPF 50 oil free. It's supposed to protect your skin from the pollutions and the pollutants in the air and also as a sunscreen. I use it every day. So you're supposed to shake it up. You heard us? I think there's a little ball in there that helps it mix. That's where my mic is. I want you guys to hear that. So you mix it up. You need very little of it. Let me show you what it looks like. It's a very liquidy white cream. 
rub it into the skin. This does take some time. Look at that. Even that was too much. That little bit can cover my whole face. That's even more than enough. It does take some time to soak into the skin. So I do recommend like putting this on like 10, 15 minutes before your makeup. Otherwise you're going to have a little of a white cast you see, or if you want to just make sure you really rub it into the skin. I tend to just put it on and I like to let it sink into the skin. Like you saw in the beginning of this video, but I love this stuff. I've been using it for like nine months and then Clarins sent me a new one. So I'm so excited, but this is the one I've used up. I love this stuff and it doesn't clog my pores. Doesn't cause me any breakouts. Sun screen is very important. I feel like here in the beauty community, a lot of people don't talk about the importance of sunscreen. When you watch makeup tutorials, I get it. It's not glamorous to say, okay, first I'm going to put on my sunscreen, but I always put on sunscreen. Always. Um, next up, I've been using this from first aid beauty. This is the skin rescue acne clearing charcoal cleanser with probiotics. It says maximum strength, 2% salicylic acid and even sensitive skin can use this. So it says for daily use, gently massage a thin layer over damp skin in the AM and PM. I only use it once in the morning because even for me, even though I have uh, oily like combo skin, acne prone skin, it can, salicylic acid can dry me out. This is what it looks like. I feel like our, all charcoal products look like this. It's just really good at getting like all the impurities out of your skin, clearing the skin. It really helps my pores to become less visible. So I've really been enjoying this. This is what it looks like. Put it on your damp skin, rinse it off, good to go. Next up from Mamandy, we have their Floral Hydro Cream. Um, I love Mamandy because I think all of their products are like flower infused. I've been using their overnight lip sleeping mask. I've shown that to you guys. Let me go get it. I love that stuff. Hang on. Here it is. And by the way, I love their packaging. You see how this is kind of like an ombre teal and then the floral cream is like a white and a blue. So this is the overnight sleeping mask. This has the flower plum blossom in it. I think all of their products are flower infused. So I just threw it on my lips like this. Mm. It's so moisturizing. You can use this, like put a lot on and put it on at night and just let it soak into the lips or you can just apply it in the day. It's 7.30, I just put it on, I love it. So this is the Floral Hydro Cream and this is a moisturizer. It says that you can use it in the a.m. in the evening, dispense an appropriate amount and smooth along skin from center outward. It says a gel type cream with refreshing texture that captures and provides moisture for a long time. This is really good at adding moisture into the skin. I put it all over the skin in the morning. I like it in the morning because it's more, um, I feel like it's a lightweight moisturizer. Really nice, hydrating. All their products are really hydrating. Well, I don't know about all of them. These are the two that I've tried, the Floral Hydro Cream and the Overnight Lip Sleeping Mask. I love these. You can pick this up at Ulta. I'll leave a link to it down below. I don't know if they sell it in store, but I know they do sell it on Ulta.com. Oh my God, look at, look at the shine it adds to the lips. As moisturized as my lips are, that's how they feel. I love this stuff. Is there anything else I wanted to tell you about? Um, I don't think so. I told you about the foundation, the sunscreen, the cleanser, Mamandy. Ooh, have I updated you guys on this? This is the number seven high shine lip gloss. This is the shade, I think it's called like sparkling rose or something. I lost the um, name because it was on the packaging. It's a beautiful, shiny lip gloss. I don't wanna put it on now because I just put on that lip sleeping mask. Look at how shiny that is. It has little, little tiny, tiny specks of glitter that you can't really see unless you're really up close. It's very moisturizing, it's not messy, and it's affordable. I think this is $9.99 at Walgreens. And when I went and bought this, I've been using this for a while. Uh, number seven did send me another color, but this color I actually bought myself. I think when I bought it, they had number seven for buy one, get one half off or something. So <coughs> that's it for me, friends. I'm going to go wash my face. I have officially had this foundation on for 16, 17 hours, a long time. No, 18 hours. I've had this on for 18 hours. So I'm gonna go wash my face. I will leave a link to everything down below. Don't forget to check out the videos on the screen. Give this a thumbs up. Hit the bell so that you're notified of all new uploads. It's right next to the subscribe button. You can't just subscribe. I'm sure you've heard a million YouTubers say this. You need to hit the bell next to the subscribe button. And then a little box pops up and says, do you want all notifications? And if you do, you click yes, you're good. You get all notifications. I will see you soon.